Welcome back, everyone. Time now, 738. An upcoming concert series is providing more than just good music. It's also benefiting kids who are visually impaired. The Indiana Blind Children's Foundation is hosting the No Limits inaugural concert celebration later this month. I've got Laura Alvarado with me to talk about that. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you so much for having me. First off, give me the bird's eye view of this concert. Who gets to attend and, and how does it okay. all work? Okay, well, this is the first time that the Indiana School for the Blind is opening its doors to the public for a concert like this. This is called No Limits. It's a celebration of inclusion and access. It's open to anyone and everyone. And we're bringing in Matthew Whitaker, uh, the Matthew Whitaker Quartet, mm -hmm. to host, um, to bring the community together for our first celebration, and we're super excited. Now, for those who don't know Matthew Whitaker, he is 18 years old. And is just incredible. Tell me a little of his story. Yeah, he um, born blind and actually has been making his way in music for, for his entire life, really. So he is a Yamaha artist. He mm -hmm. is the youngest to be signed by Hammond. Um, and he is just an inspiring individual as an artist. And his music as a jazz pianist and composer is what he's going to bring to the table for us at the Indiana School for the Blind on Friday, July 26th. And he's 18. That yes. blows me away that he's a pianist and a performer and a composer and he's still a teenager. I just love that he's been able to see so much success when some people would look at him and say, okay, you're going to have to have this handicap and this thing helping you out and, and this, you know, prevention measure. Yeah, and that's what No Limits is all about, is really bringing the artists to the table so that the public sees the strengths um, mirrored through the performers that we're bringing on stage mm -hmm. of our students. And so what we want to do is be an inclusive environment, inclusive concert stage for our partners and for the public. Well, and he's performed on stages with Stevie Wonder, of course, another famous musician who some people said maybe wouldn't make it, but then of course was incredible and, and changed lives of those who heard him. Um, from what I understand, Matthew Whitaker and the quartet will be available for a Q&A afterwards. Absolutely. So um, tickets start at $25 and include a pre-concert reception with um, heavy appetizers and drinks from the jazz kitchen. Um, an hour concert and then a Q&A with Matthew and our MC Kathy Nimmer, also a motivational speaker and former student of the Indiana School for the Blind. And so they're going to be talking a bit about the artistry and being an artist with a disability. Well, that's an incredible opportunity for kids and adults to be able to just ask questions. Obviously, you work with the visually impaired in Indianapolis. <laughs> what would you want to ask somebody like Matthew Whitaker or others in their situation? You know, I think the biggest thing um, for us to talk about is really his artistry first. He's mm -hmm. an artist first. And so how he has navigated um, being on various concert stages around the world yeah. would once, be my first question. to be known as the pianist and the composer, not the blind pianist and composer. Absolutely, absolutely. To be able to pull that off. What do you hope then that the students get from this as they're able to watch this concert and then enjoy that Q&A session? Yeah, we're really excited that Matthew's going to be meeting with the students prior to him mm -hmm. taking the stage. Right. So they get to have a little bit of a personal Q&A with him before he takes the stage. And then really um, share their strengths with one another as a group and I know that they're going to take away that if mm -hmm. someone like Matthew um, can do what he's doing, they can do it too. And to further that, what you are doing, of course, for the community enables them to do so much as well. So for folks who want to get involved and be a part of this concert, where again can they go? Just go to our website, indianabcf.org. That's great. Thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate Thank you. Thank you so and much for having me. I certainly hope that concert goes so well on July 26th, right? July 26th. Perfect. Mark that down.